So I've actually had this let pot garden for a couple months now. I had a couple great grows out of it and I wanted to share my experiences with you guys, the good and the bad. Let you know exactly what you can expect if you're looking into purchasing one of these tabletop gardens. So first, yeah, let's talk about the looks. I love the way this looks. I love the way that it's wrapped in stainless steel with let pot and boast on the front. Um, I have all these lights around it so it reflects the lights beautifully. I'm always gonna have this as kind of the centerpiece here for my video. So you're gonna get to see it in every video now. I love the way that the light on the top actually can tilt down a little bit so that in my unique position, I actually need that tilted down slightly so that the camera doesn't catch the LEDs. On top of that, this thing extends like mad. I've never seen a, a garden of this size with a light that can telescope like this. I mean, just look how far this thing goes. That's absolutely ridiculous. And if you're wondering, yes, I did take it to its max. I grew tomatoes in this, but my time-lapse camera had a malfunction and I lost everything on the SD card. So I don't have any of that footage and I'm really bummed out about it. But here's me planting the tomatoes in it, which brings me to some of the accessories that it comes with. These little sticks that go into these little holes right in the top here, they are to support your plants. I thought that was brilliant. I thought that was really clever and it's, I used it and it worked really well. The other thing I really liked aesthetically is that they put the water meter right on top and they made it analog. I really like that because that means anytime I'm looking at my plants, I'm also checking my water and it's not a light. I prefer either an analog readout to let me know or like a very clear numerical digital readout, something like this, which is actually an extra add-on that you can get with this garden, which I did spring for, of course. This is an EC meter, which comes with another pump. And I didn't even go over that yet. The way that this works hydroponically is it is basically, it's a deep water culture. So there's a small air pump in there. And if, if you get the EC meter, it actually adds a second small air pump in there to just keep your water aerated and circulating. It works really well and I haven't had any problems with it. I will say one of the cons of the EC meter, if you do grab that extra peripheral, is that it does take up one of your slots. So it will take up a hole in your garden. And if you plan to store it on top of the garden like I do, it's gonna take up another hole. But luckily, Let Pot actually hooks you up with these hole covers if you don't plan on growing everything in your garden. Like right now I only have four plants growing in here and I could have 12 growing in here. So rather than just leaving those other holes open, they actually provide these little hole covers and I have just enough to cover them up and to cover them with the extra pump. The thing that really caught me off guard with this let pot garden immediately, as soon as I set it up, was really the attention to detail from the side of a, a hydroponic gardener. All the little peripherals, all the little details, the way that they set everything up was to give the gardener the best user experience that they could. The extremely telescoping light, uh, the little dimmer button on top that allows you to dim the light, and then it has this brilliant little button on top here, which switches the entire garden from vegetative to flowering. So it resets the light timers and it sets the timers on a different light cycle and it switches the light color to tell your plants that it's time to go into flowering and it gives them more light. The dimmer is also a really great feature. If you don't want to go super bright, you can go really low and dim it and just be right on top of your plants. They also wanted to make it easy to monitor your garden. So this has Wi-Fi built in and you can link it up with your phone. This is also a con for me because, because I have a five gigahertz Wi-Fi router at my house and apparently you can only use a 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi router to actually link it up with your phone and make the whole thing work. So it didn't really seem like there was much in there that I would get that much use out of, to be honest, but I, but I did want to link up with that EC meter so that I could keep monitoring tabs on that on my phone. I thought that would be pretty cool. One other thing I really didn't like about this garden is the beep. A really, and the particular tone and intensity of this beep is like unsettling. It's a bit jarring and it's very loud. I know that's a weird thing to complain about, but if you've experienced this as well, comment down below so I don't feel so alone with the loudness of the beep bothering me so much. I can tell what Let Pot is, is doing that is setting them aside from all the other tabletop gardens is they're just making a really, really good, really, really sleek, well thought out, well designed, well made hydroponic tabletop garden. 
They're not trying to also be the gardener and hold your hand and take you on this whole journey where everything's seeds are already in this packet and you just gotta put the packet in there and you don't have to do anything, don't worry. Gardening shouldn't be completely effortless. Putting a little bit of love and energy into your plants is what makes them taste just that much better in the end. So, so I really believe Let Pot considers the gardener's experience when they're putting together their gardens. And I've had that experience a few times with a few different grows. And that's why I'm standing behind them now. I contacted them and I asked them if I can get a discount code so that I can give you guys a discount on Let Pot products and I can become an affiliate myself. I'm only an affiliate for two other companies and I went and picked them personally. I have people send me emails all the time to try to get me to work with them or sell their products. And I don't like to uh, become an affiliate for a company unless I personally either found them or, or they found me and their product just blew me away so much. The other two companies I work with are Tower Garden and AC Infinity. But now I can proudly add Letpot to my list of companies that I proudly endorse and stand behind and offer discounts for. So, so check down in the description box below for that discount code again. I'll put it up on the screen for you. I also just put direct links in there so that'll help you just find everything. And don't forget about the Summer of Growth promotion I'm running June, July, and August. I guess just July and August now. Where if you pick up a Tower Garden through my affiliate link, I'm going to give you my full Master Your Tower Garden. It's a $100 course. I'm just going to give it to you for free for getting a new Tower Garden through my links. All right, well, I hope this is helpful. I can't wait to read about your experiences in the comments below. And until the next video, let's grow together. Thank you.